So we're going to go on to the next student, uh, Alexander Bagazzi, who is a civil and environmental engineering students, student, and his thesis is titled Bicyclists Up Uptake of Air Pollution. Bicyclists Uptake of Air Pollution. And hopefully that's your slide. Uh, there you go. <laughs> All right. So take it away. Great, thanks. So most of you have probably smelled vehicle exhaust at some point and thought, I wonder if this is bad for me. Well, to summarize decades of research, yes, it's bad for you. And for people walking, bicycling, or jogging on city streets, the pollution risks are especially high because they're generally breathing more and breathing deeper. We can think of it as a four-step process. So vehicles emit some amount of air pollution. Travelers are exposed to a concentration of that air pollution. Travelers will breathe in and retain some amount of the air pollution inside their bodies, and we call this uptake. And then finally, that pollution uptake leads to negative health effects. So transportation planners and engineers want to reduce pol pollution risks for travelers as much as possible, but they're limited in their ability to do that right now because we don't have good information about how pollution uptake varies as people move around a city. So the goal of my dissertation is to provide new tools for transportation professionals to more explicitly consider pollution risks during decision-making processes. And I'm doing that by developing relationships between transportation system characteristics and pollution uptake by bicyclists based on real-world data. So where are we getting the data? Well, we're measuring pollution uptake by taking advantage of the fact that your exhaled breath very closely represents the concentration of certain pollutants in your bloodstream. And so what we've done is sampled bicyclists' breath periodically over the course of a ride, and then we're looking at how their breath concentrations, and therefore their blood concentrations, change with exposure and traffic conditions. And what we've found so far is a mix of somewhat obvious and also not so obvious. So first of all, we've shown that this method works. And that alone is exciting because this is the first time that this has been used to measure travelers. So now we have a new approach of measuring pollution uptake for travelers. Secondly, uh, we've shown that changes in breath concentration are about half as large as changes in exposure conditions. And this relationship was pretty consistent across the different bicyclists that we measured. And then finally, third of all, in, in terms of different roadways, we found about what you'd expect, okay? So more traffic means the, leads to more pollution uptake. And while this isn't terribly surprising, it is important for a couple of reasons. And one is that this is the first empirical evidence that bicycling on low volume roads has a measurable benefit in terms of reducing the amount of pollution in your bloodstream. And then secondly, we're quantifying the size of the pollution uptake differences. And this provides new ways for transportation professionals to explicitly consider pollution risks as they go through the processes of developing our city streets. Thank you for your time.